Have you ever been driving along, going to work or church, minding your own business, when suddenly, bang, you hit a pothole, damaging your car and ruining your whole day? Well, you know who to blame. No, not city bureaucracy. Spider-Man. He's been seen leaping down from great heights to pound the ground with maximum force. Why? There's only one possible reason I can think of. He hates us, and he wants us to be miserable. Love New York. The demons, though, it seems like they just want to tear the city down. I believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What about my dog? No problem. But always on a leash and never in the kitchen area. So late. Oh, I uh, had a little mix-up at my apartment. On the street, huh? I know the look. You're in the right place. Nothing to be ashamed of. I know, I just... I hate to take resources from people who need them. Guess what, pal? Right now, you need her. You got a point. Thanks, Gloria. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. 
Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Are you sure you can spare that money? Easily. Working here leaves very little time to spend money, and I'm just fine with that. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Figured you'd be home in bed. <laughs> I wish. Just ask for some nose strips. You snore like a water buffalo. Doesn't surprise me. You'd know what a snoring water buffalo sounds like. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Mm. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I'd get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site in Midtown. 
Life would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Hey, Howard, I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit. Clear. Guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. are stepping up their game. These guys are worse than Fisk ever was. Another message from Doc. I don't want to change this, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. much cash. That? Uh, Sorry, no, spider you. emergency. Too short to be spidey. Too skinny. Those games, kid. Howard Pigeon, and the chase is on.
talk, guys. The Destroy New York stick is getting old. Okay, Yongji! Tell her right now! Love New York. The demons, though, seems like they just want to tear the. Gearing up for something big. Ha, <laughs> a pigeon. Don't run. I won't hurt you. It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. I can't. Pigeon target acquired. It's getting away.
Okay. to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Pigeon target acquired. Ah, gotta get him. I hope nobody sees me doing this. guys have an impressive social circle.
Pigeon target acquired. Don't fly away, please! Worse than Fisk ever was. Now, Juju! Rockage, you top eight, top five! Real talk, guys. The destroying New York stick is getting old. Love New York. The demon. Though, it seems like they just want to tear the city down. This pigeon knows the city better than I do. Control. There are easier ways to make money, guys. Let's social destructive, too. Yeah. 
Demons aren't just a street gang. the names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moping. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. need a vacation or something. Dudes are way too high strung. There's a pigeon! Oh no, there it goes! I wonder if pigeons eat spiders. between Spider-Man and these demon masked gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the area. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. 
Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50 megaton payload of fact. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself chasing one truck, another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. Fisk, for all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. But these demons? Either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? down. What are they trying to accomplish? alert. Don't run. I won't hurt you. Following a vehicle collision, officers needed in the vicinity of Vanderbilt. I think that debris is trapping someone inside that car. Trapped in that car. Mm. Uh. Mm. 
Hold on! Thugs who caused the record down, but people are still trapped. Everyone's safe. I should let fire and rescue do their jobs. Thanks. Pigeon. Oh no, there it goes. Hey, slow down. Man, I wish I spoke pigeon. One of Howard's pigeons. Don't fly away, please. Has anyone else heard reports of Spider Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get hot. Knowing Spider-Man's weak moral character and thrill-seeking personality, I'd guess the same principle is at work. I can't believe it. Whole family's reunited. No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Dan says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. No 
those lunatics will kill someone driving like that. guys have an impressive social circle. chase to keep a guy on his toes.